Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do the reading for Capricorn for the mid to the end of January 2021. Um, I, if you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it does, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Um, don't forget though, it's not going to resonate with every single you know Capricorn out there. Um, it's just a general reading. So yeah, please don't give me a th thumbs down just because it doesn't resonate with you. It's not going to suit every single person out there, as I've said. Um, so, I mean, if you want a private reading, that's what that would be. It would be more accurate to you then, wouldn't it? Um, so I'll be doing some tarot, doing some oracle. I'll be doing things slightly different. I'm going to do the Romance Angels and these reading these cards as well i forgot what these this this is called the guardian angel tarot cards i'm going to do these at the beginning to get the energy for your whole read and then i'll do some tarot and then i'll do a couple of oracle um extra ones as well um don't forget though time is fluid energy is vice versa so yeah all right let's start capricorn on the second half of january i need the energy energy capricorn energy second half of january oops i'll give it one more shuffle because it fell out okay give me the whole energy ten of emotion so you've got ten of emotion this card says, life is blessing you with wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured. By offering forgiveness, understanding and kindness to others, you're rewarded with unconditional love. I think that's a great start. On the bottom, you've got the Ace of Abundance, which is also great. That's about wonderful news. A windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans. These resources may involve money, advice, or assistance in getting things done. It's a good start, good time, sorry, to start a new venture, change careers, or go into business for yourself. There may be important contracts to sign. So that's great. So far, both cards have been great. Let's see what it says for your romance. Angels. The energy for second half of January 2021 for Capricorn. Okay, give me the energy for Capricorn. Ooh, you got one card. Unrequited love, and it's in reverse. There's not enough attractional chemistry to keep this relationship going, mm -hmm. and it's in reverse. Which to me would say there's a lot of chemistry. So maybe this... Uh, You've got somebody new coming in that's unrequited. Um, let me see what else it says for that. I feel like there's something else I'm missing. Um, oh, this could also be the unrequited love upright is all about um like a cat and mouse like a twin flame kind of cat and mouse um energy so it's like either that's over or it's not happening because this person is not maybe your twin flame um i feel like there's just not enough to keep this going And it could also be maybe somebody's not putting in as much energy as you are. So maybe, maybe it's all like one-sided kind of situation as well. So the one on the bottom says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So if it's not, obviously it's not this person, but there might be somebody new coming and it's telling you that you need to keep an open mind. Um... Maybe you're not yet in separation from this person or maybe there's no communication with this person. All right, let's do some tarot and we'll get some, hopefully get some understanding about these cards. I mean, maybe it's telling you that this your love life maybe is not so great, but it's reminding you that 
you have blessings and you have the wonderful family and you have the wonderful friends and you know you have emotional fulfillment coming and great happiness coming and that's what I feel like it's trying to tell you that this person maybe is not your person but to keep an open mind because maybe there is somebody coming yeah but we'll find out more as we go okay so what does Capricorn need to know for the second half January second half of January Okay, one more. One more. Okay, you got two. Okay, so you might currently be in a hermit mode um, where you're just isolating and doing some soul searching and introspection because you've got hermit card on the bottom. Somebody may not be communicating with you at the moment with the Page of Swords in reverse. Um, somebody could have been all talk and no action. So maybe they said they really like you, but as I said, it's like the cat and chase, chase cat and mouse kind of situation over here. It's like they tell you they like you, but then they don't actually do anything to, you know, date you, get to know you, make it happen. Um... Whether they've ghosted you or um, that could have happened also. But, I mean, you have everything inside you to be successful and you have everything inside you to get through this. It might be a struggle, you might feel overwhelmed, but you have everything inside you to get through this. So just be aware of that. Um, you've also got the Empress, which is talking about nurturing you. And you can create whatever it is you want for your life. You might be pregnant, you might be a parent, you maybe have kids with this other person, I don't know, um, but it's going to take strength, you need strength, self-love, self-harmony, what else is there, uh, strength, unconditional love, self-respect, compassion, you know, courage, all those things. Um, this person may have been or may be a narcissist for some people as well, but I feel like it could be the whole cat and mouse thing where they ghost you, then they're back, and then they run, and then maybe that's the situation with some of you as well. Okay, so I forgot to mention what you've got. You've got the Queen of Pentacles, then you've got the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and you've also got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Swords. So take it as resonates. It could be past, present, future, extra information. It could just be all extra information you need to know. So Queen of Pentacles, this is about you focusing on your money, focusing on becoming self-sufficient. Um, it could mean, it could describe somebody who's very resourceful, a mom, dependable, warm-hearted, generous, reliable, loyal, intelligent, nurturing, you know, somebody who's a working parent, all those things. It could mean any of those, but focusing on their money, their coin. Okay, so tell me more for Capricorn. So you may have, or you may need to look at this, like the situation with this unrequited love was probably just a lost opportunity, or it could mean, as I said, they didn't make a plan. They were all talk and no action with you. Um, they may also, there may also be some financial loss, but I feel like it never really blossomed. Yeah. I feel like it's just that cat and mouse situation. I feel like they were in of your life and then out of your life and then in and out of your life and out of your life. But the universe wants you to know your good things are coming and be grateful for what you have. That's kind of what I'm getting. Um, but now you need to focus on manifesting what you want. Stop manifesting what you don't want. Manifest what you want. Be very, very specific. Make vision boards, do affirmations, do whatever you need to to make it manifest. Um... You know, you can turn your vision into reality, whatever that is for you. Um, somebody in this past person may have also been uh, in a third party. And it doesn't mean they have to be sexually third party. It could mean somebody was in their ear about this situation. And maybe that's why they ghosted you. I don't, yeah, I don't know. As I said, it is going to take everything inside you to get through this. This is exactly the same card as what was over here before. 
um, you know, it's going to be a struggle for sure. Like it is a struggle when you need to move on from something, you know, you, you don't want to let go of. Um, but there is going to be something new coming. New relationship um, with emotional fulfillment and intimacy love all those things you are going to have clarity about a situation though and it may be a fresh sudden opportunity that comes in that offers you love um it could also be you just get clarity about a situation and there is a new love i'm going to use my new deck as well super excited these cards i've had them for a little while never used them and i thought why not i love them Although I love all my cards, that's why I can never decide and I do so many because I love them and can't decide which ones I want to use. So, okay. Last shuffle. The Capricorn. Second half of January. Tell me more for Capricorn. Okay, you've got a couple that are shot out. So, at the moment, just kind of be with your friends. Turn to your circle of support if that's what you need. Um, you may also have some sort of celebration. To go to you definitely have this complete and painful ending i should have looked at these cards first you definitely have a complete and painful ending and maybe that's why it's telling you to turn to your circle of support um because you're gonna hit rock bottom and feel like you hit rock bottom you've had a loss of some kind um i don't know whether you work for yourself or now is a good time to work for yourself or Maybe it's all about being more confident. Um, looks like they're making a plan, though. They're, they're a natural born leader. So whether this is you or this is somebody else, it's worth knowing. Um, you've got the Knight of Wands. So somebody, it's very passionate. This new person, this new love, may be somebody who comes in very quickly. Uh, they're impulsive. They take action. Um, very passionate. But there has been, you've obviously had a breakup and now you're moving on. You're moving on, you're disappointed, you need to forgive, um, there definitely needs to be forgiveness, but it's like moving on. You finally decided that you are going to move on from a situation. And here you are having absolution, final decision, getting clarity about a situation, as I said. Um, yeah I definitely feel like this was just a lost opportunity like they just I think if it continued it would probably be much of the same it would be much of the in and out of your life situation tell me more I'll just get one card can I okay you're feeling lonely and you're feeling down you've you know do something fun for your inner child maybe you need to do guided meditation to help with you know whatever bottom two chakras um that might help as well um i don't think there was going to be success in this situation as i said i feel like it was just going to continue being the same thing same cat and mouse kind of situation um you might have had kids with this fam with this mm -hmm. family. Sorry about that. That was my phone. You might have had some sort of family with this person, or um, you wanted. I feel like you wanted this. You feeling you feeling down with this with the sun card because I feel like you wanted or you thought that this was going to be your happy families, but instead, you know, it didn't. And so you need to release whatever worry you have. There were probably secrets you didn't know about. Um, you probably got deep-seated fears in a turmoil, but it's like you've got to release all of that. Um, you've also got the Empress. So this is about nurturing you and creating whatever it is you want for your life. You might be a parent, as I said. I feel like some of you may have kids to this person or... Yeah, there's some there's something going on there. Okay. Next. You have Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. So 
So, I mean, you've got four nine of cups and the ten of cups. I mean, they're both great cards. Uh, but I feel like here it was more you felt like they were... You're feeling down because I think you thought they were going to give you your happy family. Here you've got the four of pentacles. So you want this long-term security. Um, you're being possessive. You're being stubborn. Maybe some of you are trying to save money. You're resisting the change. You don't want to move on from this person and let them go. Um... And then you've got Nine of Cups, which is like your wishes coming true. You know, contentment, security, good health, all those things. I need to find out more information because I just want to see if that's what you thought was going to happen. Anymore. Yeah, you thought this person was your, your person. You thought this was your person, but they're not. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, I feel like you thought they were going to give you all your wishes. You thought they were going to give you this happy family situation. But it didn't actually turn out that way. Because you've got two of, two of cups in reverse. So there was probably just a breakup. There's no trust. There was some sort of misunderstanding. Um, you might be hesitant to open your heart again. It could could have been about their ego. Maybe that's why they were in and out. You fulfilled that ego side. But I feel like... I think this was upright and I turned it down. But you are going to complete the lesson. You are going to move on. And you are just going to be a hermit. Like I said over here, the first card you had was the hermit card. And I feel like you're just going to... Be by yourself, Do get some clarity about the situation, do some introspection, some soul searching and just be by yourself. But you are going to move on from, from something that you thought was going to give you your wishes fulfilled, but that's because you're resisting the change. Trust your intuition. Um, this person, I mean, or you may want to reconcile, you know, make amends, I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. You know what? It's not your person. You may feel like they are, but they're not. And then here you are getting that mental clarity, having the, seeing the truth in the situation, and having a fresh start, as I said. Um, yeah, you're going to end up having to release the pain that this person caused. And stop any negative self-talk, forgive, become a bit more optimistic. And as I said though, some of you are resisting the change because you want long-term security and you honestly thought this person was going to give it to you. But then they keep going in and out of your life. So, um, yeah, let's find out more. me more for Capricorn. You may have been married to this person. Um, could have been in a higher level of commitment with this person as well. So, because you've got the Hierophant card and the Hierophant is also like you expect, I think this is another one of those situations where you expected the you know, family, the picket fence, the dog, the happy family life kind of situation. That's what the Hierophant is. And it's all about conformity, traditions, expectations. It can also be about spiritual wisdom. And um, it also can talk about you manifesting, I guess, what you want. And maybe you're going to have somebody come in that might teach you that. Um it can also be that as well, but, so yeah, I think it's all about manifesting, like, what are you manifesting? Yeah, I feel like, like, in the picture, this is, like, a teacher, and, and she's teaching the young kids, you know, how to, how to meditate and, and stuff, and it's like, this person, may, you may have someone that wants to, that's going to come in and teach you, or, um, that you can talk to, maybe you learn from, but also I feel like it's, yeah, you just expected this 
You had expectations. You you thought they were going to give you this happy family and your wishes fulfilled, but it, it's not happening. Um, but also it talks about what are you manifesting? And here you've got the magician, which is talking about manifesting. Maybe you keep manifesting this person to come back. But you will have some wake-up call or clarity and, you know, it's all about absolution and final decisions and I feel like that will eventually happen. The truth will come out. But for now, just work on you becoming financially independent. Focus on your self-care as well. Um, and... Work on just being resilient and have courage and persistence to keep going, strength. Put up your boundaries, all those things. Yeah. I think, I think this other card here came out specifically just to tell you, like, overall, this spread is pretty crap. But keep being grateful for what you have see that there are good you know what i mean like it's, it's to sort of give you a boost because things are going to get better yes at the moment they might be crap yes they might be crap but things are going to get better More capricorn you're resisting ending the situation as i said you need to do some work on you it's all about personal transformation and release the situation you feel like you're stuck you're in denial you, you know oh this person is going to come back and they're going to change and they're going to love me it's not going to happen you might feel confused why isn't it happening why isn't this person loving me the way i want them to why are they not giving me my wishes fulfilled in my happy family why do they keep ghosting me and leaving the situation you might feel confused about that um because and that's because you desire this long-term security you're resisting the change you're being stubborn you know they're not offering you what you want they're probably a narcissist as well <coughs> but there will end up being a tower moment which is a sudden unwanted change if you don't change it the universe will this can mean upheaval a revelation awakening chaos yeah all right let's move on you've got the nine of pentacles in reverse this is about you focusing on your self-worth as i said um you've got to accept that, it, the, that you're being hustled you've got to accept that this person is just not giving you what you want tell me more oh my goodness you got a lot yeah you're resisting that change still but you're feeling very unfulfilled and bored and you know Maybe do some contemplation. Um, you are going to recover and maybe focus on your employment. But you are going through this emotion. You will or you will go through this emotional loss where you're dwelling on the negative and you're disappointed and you're hurt and sad and all those things. Um, but at the moment, you're still stalling, delaying, resisting, making that change. But there's probably no communication. As I said, they probably just ghosted you again. You know, you need to move on and leave the past behind. As I said, it's going to be a pattern this person keeps doing. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is all about you having courage and confidence and being independent. Get out there. Know you're attractive. People are finding you attractive and will find you very attractive. So get out there. Be a social butterfly because you'll probably meet somebody else, which it tells you you will. Um, but at the moment, you're just kind of feeling stuck. But this is all in your head. Any negative thoughts you have, they're all in your head. You can get out of those binds very easily. They're not even tied. You know, she can get on her broom, fly away. She can get out of the situation she's in, but she chooses not to. I mean, she could cut the bloody things. Look, she could cut them on all these swords, but she can't cut them. They're not even bound. You know, there's so many choices right there. She could get out of this situation. She just chooses not to. Um, 
this could be it could describe you or somebody who's very nurturing healing a mom compassionate gentle empathetic sensitive caring all those things it could describe you um you possibly feel like you carried this all the burdens in this situation you know but it's about completion it's about you feel like you had no perspective nobody you know maybe you just feel exhausted you feel like you're in pain all those things but you felt like you were the one carrying all the burdens and doing it all in this relationship yeah Maybe it just wasn't the right time for you and this person, but it's all about self-healing. You know, there was obviously an imbalance or an excess of something, um, but it's, yeah. Temperance is all about divine timing and this is not. I mean, maybe that's why they keep on ghosting you. Maybe there's something you need to learn from this situation. Um, could have been a very karmic situation. But as I said, maybe you're being manipulated or... There was poor planning or somebody, yeah, just you haven't been manifesting what you want. You've been manifesting what you don't want. And as I said, you've got the Hierophant again. Yeah, I think you just expected that this person was going to give you your wishes fulfilled and it hasn't happened. Right, we've got Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Swords. So you're feeling like you're anxious. You're feeling like you're worried. Maybe having trouble sleeping, depressed, all those things. Um, but that's because you're too focused on one area of your life. Maybe you need to look at other, you know, you wanted your life to be perfect and it hasn't, hasn't turned out that way. Um, but maybe focus on other things, focus on your employment, focus on your kids, focus on things other than this situation. I guess the more you focus on something, you're pushing it away. The more you want something, you're going to push it away. That's the law of attraction. Um, tell me more. Yeah. There's no plan. There was no plan for this. There was no... It's like you want things to happen now, but that's not happening. You're not looking at the long-term view, which is this person keeps on repeating the same pattern over and over and over and over. You keep waiting for this person to come back and be like, I love you, I want to be with you, oh my God, like, and not ghost you ever again. But it's not going to happen. It's not happening right now. I'm not going to say it's never going to happen, but, I mean, there's no communication. You know? You've got to, you've got to release it and have hope and faith again and know that you can wish upon a star and miracles can happen. But... There's too many obstacles with this other person. They're not offering you a firm foundation. All they're offering you is heartache and loss every single time. They come in and go and come in and go. Which just makes you feel down. But you keep on resisting letting them go for God knows what reason. Because I think because you believe this person is going to offer you your wishes and your happy family and it's not going to happen. What's not happening right now? It's an unrequited love. Okay, tell me more. The Capricorn. Oops. Yeah, you're resisting the tower. Again. You're still not just wanting to let it go. But I feel like once you do, well, actually, I don't actually know which way that fell out because I picked it up. It was, yeah, anyway, um, regardless of whether you choose to end it, it will eventually end. Um, but you will end up being like a fool. You were, I mean, now the fool is like a great card. It's about you being a free spirit and having new chances and new beginnings and fresh hope again. You're moving on. You're. You know, and you're going to end up meeting somebody with the Ace of Cups. 
So once you release this person, you are going to end up being a free spirit and meeting someone new. Um, I feel like with this other person, it's just full of frustration and arguments and it's delaying you meeting someone new. Jealousy, suspicion, you know, all those things. Um, but you are going to move on and you are going to manifest what you do want, as I said. Put up your boundaries, you know, all those same cards, they're all there. I feel like it is going to get better, but you've got to release this past person. But you will eventually figure out that it's not going to... They're not offering you your wishes fulfilled. Here you are going to, you are going to end up with happiness and emotional fulfillment. Yeah, turn to your circle of support as well with three, but um, here you are being indecisive. Some of you are walking away. Some of you are just indecisive. You want to try again, um, but you are uh, contemplating your life and um, making progress. I feel like you need to make progress to then reap rewards of your efforts. Whatever you, whatever you put in, you get out. Some of you, as I said, it's about taking action, being determined, you know, making a change to be successful. It's going to take willpower and you being determined to do that and, you know, get away from somebody who's just being deceitful and cold-hearted and sly. Maybe you focus on your employment for now or you are going to have a relationship that is going to blossom, but you need to let go of the past as I've said and just to remind you I mean this card like I as much as as I said the reading is crap right let's be real what you're going through is is crap but just remember I have to read this I feel like I have to read this again because it's telling you that life is blessing you with wonderful and a loving family great happiness and emotional fulfillment and now on the horizon harmony with those you love is assured by offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others, you're rewarded with unconditional love. I feel like things are going to get better. You've got to hold on to that. Hold on to the fact that things are going to get better, just not right now and probably not with this person because you do have somebody new coming. Tell me more for Capricorn. I feel like though this is a pattern that's been going on for a while for some of you. And it's weird, like I can feel my heart hurting for you. Like sometimes I feel things for people and I feel like my heart hurts. Like I want to cry. And it's not my feeling, like I know. Like right in my heart, it just, yeah, it hurts. Okay, tell me more for Capricorn. Trust your intuition, that's definitely important. One more card for Capricorn. Oop. You've got financial discipline. But it's pink, so sometimes, I mean, take as resonates. It's red. Pink can be about love. It doesn't have to be about finances. Um, but trust your intuition. You're not paying attention to synchronicities. This person is probably not in communication with you, but you are going to learn from this situation. As I said, maybe this is a karmic situation for you. Um, there's things you need to learn so you don't keep repeating the pattern. Um, Yeah, I feel like this is, as I said, it's been going on for a while. Capricorn. Um, and we'll do that one last. So... You've got total connection in reverse and it talks about healthy attachment styles, somebody who's like-minded, compatible personality type and it's in reverse. It's like that's not what's happening. This person probably isn't compatible to you at all. Um, they're probably not like-minded. Um, there is no healthy attachment style because they go and come and go and come and in and out of your life. Somebody may have had an addiction to gambling, alcohol, sex, as I said, like the devil energy. 
um, toxic behavior, toxic thinking, all those things. Um, but I feel like somebody will come in and want to date you because you've got the dating card. Somebody is new, is coming, and you will not see that, I don't think. I think it's going to come out of nowhere. But I feel like um, you, they will see your light. The other person didn't. They didn't see you. They didn't see, this other person didn't see you for what you are. They didn't see you as genuine, you know, um, compatible to them, authentic, healthy, a good choice. They didn't see you as that, which is why they've done the in and out, in and out. But you are going to end up having somebody come in and communicate and tell you they like you and want to date. Maybe you get back out there. And it talks about enjoying each other's company, seeing each other, like each other. And will or are likely be dating. So just be aware someone new is coming. Um, if you are one of these people, though, that sabotages things to get, like when things get hard, make sure you're not one of these people that runs because somebody new is coming. It's like don't run away from that because you've been hurt. And because you think the person is going to do the same thing as what's been happening. Because it's not. It doesn't mean that, that that's going to happen at all. Because it's in reverse. Um, but you've got to work on healing you. And you've got to work on... Um, I'm just going to move these. Because I've got a deck the same colour. And it gets very confusing. Um, yeah, just because you've been hurt in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. So just keep that in mind. Um, but you've got to release this person that's ghosting you in and out or no communication or whatever this is. Yeah, you are going to move on. But you've got to see what it is for what it is. Take off your rose-coloured glasses. But also somebody may be watching you. So just be aware of that. Yeah, they may have ghosted you, but they are also watching you. Um, and I feel like somebody, as I said, somebody new is going to come in. That is going to be your soulmate. And they are going to offer marriage or high level of commitment or something so just be aware of that um anyway that's what i have for you capricorn i hope it resonates if it does don't forget to share like and subscribe oh quickly i didn't do one of these cards um i forgot i'll pull one quick okay lucky last Oh, Kathumi. Kathumi, I had this one last uh, reading, and this is all about having clarity in the situation. So make sure you have clarity. I feel like you haven't because you think this person is going to offer you love, and they're not. So they're offering you in and out, in and out. They're not offering you what you want. So there we go. I mean, that says it all. But anyway, thanks for watching, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you with the next reading. Okay, bye.